Okay, this how-to video is gonna talk about how to use the search providers command uh, to access schematic symbols, PCB footprints, and 3D step models if they're available, as well as data sheet and parametric information directly from the internet. So um, we'll start off with the place and search providers command. So by default, what normally happens is that you'll see a login page here. Let me just uh, log out just to show you that. So when you first come into this page, you'll see this sign into the provider. So we have to sign into the, the cadence. Uh, this is mandatory to access the data from Symexis and Ultra Librarian who are, uh, give us free online resources to schematic symbols, PCB footprints, and 3D step models. Um, so you need your, your COS account login details here. So your, your support.cadence.com login details. Also, if you need to access parts from part data from Ultra Librarian, you can go to uh, ultralibrarian.com create an account or register for a free account here. It's a free registration, and then you can then access the data from there as well. So we'll just sign into both of those. This then allows us to, to look and search for the, for, da for data. Um, so we've got a generalized search option here. I've, uh, I've just done for an 89850, for example. This is showing me the results from some exism for Ultra Librarian. You can see it's got a few hits. I get, um, if I've got effectively the, the icons along here, this is for the data sheet, the parametric information, schematic symbol, PCB footprint, 3D step model. If we look at the Ultra Librarian tab, I've obviously got a lot more of these, but uh, so let's just go and pick a part. I get some pricing information effectively from DigiKey. I get all that parametric information, so packaging number, base part numbers, categories, data sheets, descriptions, um, all this kind of useful information that will actually be added to the part if I download this. I get a preview of the schematic symbol. And in this example, I've got three PCB footprints because I'm effectively getting the, the, the minimum, the, the nominal and the maximum to comply with the IPC standards. If I'm happy with this, I can then effectively click the, the, the green plus to place the part and the part then gets downloaded and attached to my mouse. So I can then go and place the symbol onto the canvas, we'll just put a couple of instances down, we'll just drag them apart to make some connectivity. If we double click the schematic symbol, there's all that property information that's been added. We can select the part, do a right mouse button, show footprint, and we'll get a preview of the PCB footprint. Uh, you can cross probe between that, let's just do that again. And if we just zoom in here a bit and we'll select effectively the pins, you can see effectively the pin highlighting as I move around which can be quite useful when you're checking out the pin information. Let's uh, let's just save this, and then what we'll do is we'll take this to PCB Editor. So we'll do a, a PCB menu, new layout, and we'll click OK. That runs the design sync command for the first time, and then we'll just launch with a license picker. And in placement edit application mode, I effectively get my two ICs ready to go in place. So let's just zoom in down here. We'll just add a quick board outline. So board geometry design outline. And if we look at the, the 3D view, you can see effectively I get my 3D step model that's associated with that part as well. Um, so PCB footprint, schematic symbol and 3D step model all associated with that part. So what happens basically is when that part gets downloaded, it gets put into your home directory. So if you open any Windows File Explorer window, we get a percent home percent and hit return. You go into your home location and there is a CDS setup folder. There's an all capture folder, 17.4.0 folder. We've got a, an all capture download the OLB file, which is where the schematic symbol gets placed. Then there's a downloaded parts. Allegro PCB and then effectively you can see there's the, the the minimum the nominal and the maximum PCB footprints I've got the pad stacks and I've got the step models to go along with that as well we also update so if you go to set up and user preferences we'll update the pad path and PSM path so if you go to paths and library let's look at pad path you can see effectively there's that that entry for where my downloaded parts are so that's going to do the, the pad path that's going to do the PSM path and it's also going to do the step path. So all those locations are added automatically. Um, you haven't got to worry about doing that from a to, to get the consistency of having your part placed directly. 